I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna YouTube channel. It is transfer deadline day and it is, of course, as always, pretty hectic in the transfer market. There are plenty of deals in the pipeline, plenty of uh, movement is uh, is expected to happen still between now and the 11 p.m. deadline here in the UK. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed with the latest on Arsenal and their pursuit of Douglas Luiz. The Aston Villa midfielder uh, is uh, said to be of interest to Arsenal and could well could well make that move still uh, between now and the deadline from what we're being told. Now, we briefly touched on it earlier on in our podcast where we reviewed the victory over Aston Villa last night, a game in which Douglas Luiz actually scored. Um, but a little bit more information has emerged since then. We've uh, had some details around what it is that Arsenal are willing to pay, or at least what the fee uh, could likely be in the region of. We've heard some details about Douglas Luiz's side. Is he interested in the move? Now, Steven Gerrard spoke about the contract situation with regards to the player yesterday post the game. And for me, he kind of gave off the the feeling and the vibe that if the right offer was to come in, that he was pretty confident that Aston Villa would make, and I quote, what he called the best decision for the club rather than the best decision for him. He reiterated his stance, the fact that he really likes the player and wants to keep him and sees him as an important part of the squad. But given his contractual situation and the fact that Aston Villa would end up getting next to nothing or nothing at all for him if they were to hold on any longer, um, because at the current time of recording, he hasn't signed a new deal or anything like that. Um, you know, he understands, Stephen Gerrard, that this move could still happen. Um, as I say, if the right money uh, was to come across the table. And the Gunners are interested. We know that. We know that Arsenal are desperate to reinforce in midfield after a series of injuries suffered by Thomas Partey, Mohamed Arneni, Alexander Zinchenko. Um, you know, I, I don't know that he's going to be unavailable uh, or anything like that for the Manchester United game, but Martin Odegaard picked up a knock as well uh, last night. So it does look like Arsenal are still very thin in the middle of the park. You can't really account for picking up three injuries to players that play in the same position or players that are capable of covering that position. So it is rotten luck in that sense. But I think Arsenal, I don't want to say learnt their lesson from last season, because for me personally, if they weren't going to get the right person, it was right not to go big in January. It was right not to spend a load of money on players they weren't totally convinced about. But perhaps they do look back on that and think, if only we did a bit more. Maybe we'd have got the top four. Maybe we'd have finished in the Champions League. I, I don't know. It's always easy to judge these things with hindsight. But it seems like Arsenal are determined now to try and get a deal done um, with regards to a midfielder. And Douglas Luiz is right at the top of that list. Now, logistically, it makes sense as well. He's in the Premier League. He's in the UK. The Midlands isn't a million miles away. So you'd feel that if the agreement was to be reached in time, that the rest of it could could happen. It could be done pretty easily you know the medical all of that stuff um the club media duties that that stuff could even wait till tomorrow to be honest as long as the deal gets done in time um but then we heard reports sort of shortly after the news initially broke this morning that Aston Villa are adamant they don't want to sell him well I didn't get that impression as I keep saying from Steven Gerrard yesterday and I don't believe that if Arsenal are seriously interested in this player and if they are seriously trying to get this done between now and the deadline that this interest or this discussion only came up this morning I think when you think about it now you look back at last night Douglas Louis not in the Villa side why not he's definitely good enough to play in that side I know Steven Gerrard has chopped and changed it quite a bit and so I may just be reading into nothing but you know he didn't play last night he didn't overly celebrate the goal he scored as was um as was pointed out by Graham in our stream earlier today, in the podcast earlier today, he, uh, you know, clearly would be open to a move away from Aston Villa. Otherwise, he'd have signed a new contract by now. Uh, we understand that some discussion has taken place between Villa and his representatives, but nothing's really moved along in that sense. So I would like to think that if this is a serious option for Arsenal, that Arsenal opened these discussions prior to yesterday. Um, prior to this morning and 
you know, if if that's the case, then it gives me greater confidence that this deal could still be done. Now, obviously, there isn't a lot of time left, you know, what there's going to be nine hours or so uh, remaining by the time I get this uh, video out to you guys. But I'm hopeful that if Arsenal want to do this deal, they can make it happen. And we heard uh, from Sammy Mockbell that Arsenal have submitted a formal offer of around about £20 million. Aston Villa are going to try and squeeze out as much as possible, but all the time knowing that they could potentially lose this player for nothing or next to nothing in the not too distant future if they don't take the money. Others have reported that Leander Dendonka, who's on his way to Villa Park from Wolverhampton Wanderers, kind of holds all the cards here. And if that deal is to be done, then that could open the door or at least give Villa more confidence in the idea of letting Douglas Luiz go and in the idea of that being the right decision given the circumstances. According to Fabrizio Romano, Leander Dendonka um, is all but a Villa player and that that uh, announcement is going to be coming pretty soon. He's also said, Fabrizio Romano, that Douglas Luiz now and his camp are pushing really hard to make this happen. He says he wants the move and official talks are ongoing around that £20 million fee. So that is around about the figure that we're talking about here, £20 million there or thereabouts. And according to Fabrizio Romano, as you'd imagine, personal terms are not expected to be a problem. I don't want to get carried away. I don't want to get excited. I think he'd be a really good addition to the squad. He's 24 years old. He's Premier League experienced. He's tough. He's physical. Um, he's streetwise. He's technically very, very good, as we saw from his set pieces yesterday in the flesh. Um, and he knows Mikel Arteta. There's a good relationship there between he and Mikel Arteta from their time working together previously. So, again, a bit like the Jesus transfer, you're looking at, and the Zinchenko one, of course, you're looking at this and you're going, well, Mikel will know exactly what he's getting here if he does get this deal over the line. And it could be why Arsenal have opted to go for Douglas Luiz over uh, some of the other options that have been talked about. As I said, though, I don't believe that this has just come out of nowhere this morning. I do think that there's been some background work done to this, uh, at least, at least contact with the player, at least in an attempt to kind of gauge his interest, what the personal terms would look like, knowing that they didn't have much time to go you know, you have to think that Arsenal have tried to do something here. And knowing how meticulously everything has been planned over the last, you know, couple of years with regards to transfers, I find it hard to believe that they woke up this morning and said, yeah, we'll have Douglas Luiz, let's try and get it done in time. Kind of 50-50 at the moment in terms of my confidence as to whether this will get done or not. Hopefully it does. He'll be a good addition, add some depth in a position that we, we need it, in my opinion. And um, yeah, come on, you gunners, get it over the line, get it done. Also, just wanted to briefly uh, update you guys on Hector Bellerin, who is closing in on a move to Barcelona. There's been an agreement uh, reached between Arsenal and Bellerin for his contract to be terminated and he will join uh, the Catalan club. A little bit disappointed that we didn't get anything for Hector Bellerin, um, but he's been a great servant to the club over the years. The last couple of seasons haven't been as we'd have all liked, um, but he's always remained professional, kept his mouth shut. There hasn't been any of this uh, trash talking in the media that we've seen from some other players that wanted to move away. Um, and look, when you look back at particularly his early days as an Arsenal player, you'll, you'll have plenty of fond memories. Hasn't worked out since. His level has undoubtedly dropped. Um, but yeah, Barcelona uh, about to snap him up. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tune in later to our live stream at 7.30 p.m. UK time with Adrian Clark. We'll be talking Villa, transfers and Manchester United. Really, really uh, looking forward to welcoming Adrian back onto the show. So make sure your notifications on, subscribe, leave a like, etc., etc. And we'll be back later on with more. Until then, cheers. I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon. <laughs>